Hey, welcome to Comic Pal. Uh, it's been a while since I did a video uh, review or anything like that. And um, as you guys know, if you're fans of the site, usually we'll wait till a series is completely done so that we can kind of analyze uh, what the author was trying to say, what the book as a whole says, where it fits into things. But every once in a while, I do like to take a look at a number one book. And I absolutely had to do it for this one because it's Rob Guillory. And if you've been, uh, you know, either looking at my reviews or uh, reading this site for any amount of time, you know that we loved um, Chu so much. Um, and so I couldn't wait to see what Rob, Guillory, and John Lehman were going to do. And it looks like uh, Rob's uh, new project is out. And it's called Farmhand. Um, so uh, what else? Oh, yes, we have uh, color. So he's writing and drawing and inking. Uh, but we have colors by Taylor Wells and lettering by Cody Chamberlain. So, you know, we're, we're starting to get to the point now where people are recognizing the artists, not just the writers of comics. But um, sometimes the people who do the, um, the coloring and the lettering don't quite get... Uh, the recognition they deserve and while uh, black and white comics can be pretty neat for example manga or um, you know uh, there's a few you know American ones that'll be in black and white like uh, uh, Walking Dead but for the most part you know we like color in our comics and, and you know these people deserve recognition um, so you know when you're when you're looking at number one especially when it's a, a brand new character, not one of DC and Marvel's number ones that they're trying to do to make sure that people feel like they're coming in on the ground floor. Um, it's kind of hard to know where things are going to go. Uh, and if you throw in the way Rob Guillory uh, does things, um, either he was always like this or, uh, you know, John Lehman rubbed off on him, uh, you really don't know where things are going to go. We've been seeing online for the previews a, a crazy, like, tree eating the main character. We didn't know what the heck was going on. and So when I finally got to take a look at it, it's very different than what you would expect from the images that we saw online leading up to the release. Um, that said, I do want to say uh, one thing that I loved in um, Chu that continues um, here in, uh, in Farmhand is uh, Rob Guillory's crazy attention to detail. Uh, starting off very early in the comic, there's this um, series of panels, and uh, so the you know the story begins by um, presenting you know our, our main character Ezekiel Jenkins, who's estranged from his father, and he and his family are getting ready to go uh, see his father for the first time um, in in years, and so this is their their morning. Um, so, you know, again, you know, little details, things that that uh, that strike me as uh, as very, you know, realistic. The daughter doesn't want to get her hair brushed. Um, you know, <laughs> I do like the chupacabra O's for for the cereal. Um, some chickens there, uh, perhaps an ode to uh, chew. And there's another chicken later that I saw and I was like, I really want one of these chickens to be Poyo. And the white one there kind of looks like Poyo. Um, and then uh, later on, when when um, they're in uh, his father's uh, farm, we've got this little detail. If you take a look at the scientist notebook, it's really funny. It says WTF science, and given what they're actually growing there, it's it's pretty ridiculous. So, you know, they decide to head to the family farm, and all of a sudden, you know, you realize this farm has really changed a lot from when Ezekiel was a kid. Um, it's now this giant pharmaceutical uh, stem cell research facility. And uh, and you're like, hmm, that's interesting. And then we see this. Um, so those are, sorry, everything's reversed here. Those are, those are uh, arms growing off that tree. And it turns out that, um, that Ezekiel's dad uh, had, is doing some kind of uh, stem cell biological research that allows him to grow human body parts literally <laughs> and then graft them onto people um, and it's everything you know including uh, eyes and livers and kidneys and then your external body parts your arms your legs your hands um, and so 
Ezekiel and his father reconcile, and and you're like, huh, well, that obviously can't be the point of, because you know it was all about like, hey, I'm seeing my family again for the first time and all that, and that obviously can't be the point of things because then we'd be done at at issue number one, and so we're like, hmm, and then uh, we end up seeing uh, this this person who's doing industrial espionage, and uh, it's neat that the the dad. And uh, and the person committing espionage both speak Russian, and it's in Russian, uh, and that's something they used to do in Chu. They would have um, people speak in other languages, and it was kind of like, okay, if you want to go type this into a website, or if you happen to know it, that's a great bonus for you. Um, otherwise, it just you know is obscuring for the for the rest of the people reading it. And I'm sure you go online somewhere, you can pretty easily find out what it said. Um, and, uh, during that scene near the, near the end, we kind of learn, well, it's been, it's been a week or so, so we'll, we'll kind of spoil here that the, the graft happens by the body part, which has like teeth and it binds onto the person. And so, um, you got to wonder the people who normally are getting these, uh, implants, are they just, um, you know, knocked out so they don't know? What about the people doing the implants? Does it happen at his farm? Or are there doctors that know what's happening? And uh, and th there are some other consequences there. I'm not going to spoil the last couple panels, but it is pretty crazy. So it uh, looks like um, Guillory is kind of uh, building upon what they did with Chu, right? So Chu took um, the the bird flew and said, hey, what if what if that changed the whole world, right? And now it looks like Farmhand, uh, at least initially, is thinking about, okay, what about all these GMOs and all these things that people are scared of? What would be the craziest final logical conclusion we could take that stuff to? Uh, and what would that mean? You know, what would it mean if um, someone is literally growing body parts and and uh, how does that change the world? And And then, of course, you know, there's a conspiracy behind it, so that it's an interesting story. So I'm pretty much hooked, and I can't wait until August for the next issue to come out. Um, I, I probably won't take a look at the next issue here. Again, normally here on Comic Power, right, we look at number ones, or we look at an entire arc. So uh, maybe after the first arc is done, or uh, maybe a couple years in, we'll take a look and see... Where's the story going? What is Rob trying to say? Um, I will say that uh, one of the things I really appreciated about Chu was that it had um, an Asian American as the main character who was pretty much a you know second or third generation Asian American, right? He's pretty much American, and and there's some you know little uh, parts of his family or parts of the way he interacts with people that's Asian, but for the most part, he wasn't like. I'm going to do Kung Fu and be a walking stereotype. And it looks like we've got the same thing going on here uh, with Zeke. Um, there's a... Uh, the last couple panels reveal that uh, it looks like Ezekiel's father is um, is probably um, a mixed, you know, person of mixed race, uh, African-American and, and white or European-American, whatever you want to call it. And... Uh, and then Zeke himself um, seems to be part of a, of a of a blended family as well. So it's kind of neat because it's it's giving people it's giving kids something to see that they're like, hey, I can see myself in this comic, right? There's more and more people here, you know, like like Key and Peele, right? Who or even you know former President Obama, right? They're they're people f that come from blended families, right? That have a white mom or dad and a black mom or dad, and and it's it's kind of neat to see that in comics, people can say, hey there's something that I can relate to. Uh, and, you know, it's it's also um, another thing that's... And there's been a rash of these at, at Image Comics, but it, it also is taking a look at the South um, or Southern type culture, you know, farm culture. Uh, and again, something that, you know, there's been, there's been some comics now. Um, Southern Bastards, um, The Walking Dead takes place in the South, and, and others, but, you know, it's... Most of the Marvel and DC comics, right, are taking place on the coasts, right, and they're taking place in New York and LA, and so it's kind of neat to see a different chunk of the U.S. represented as well. So uh, we'll see where this goes, um, but I wish um, Rob Guillory the best, and um, some somewhere in here I'll have inserted um, 
a link to the interview that I did with him at uh, Baltimore Comic Con a couple years ago. That was amazing, mind blowing for me. Like I, I was like really nervous about doing it, and then I was like, no, I gotta, I gotta get and talk to them. Oops, talk to them while I can, and um, and so I'll have a link there and or at the end of the video as well. So um, thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you next time for another Comic Pow, uh, Compel look at a comic. See you next time. Bye.